Welcome at Zenzile Life, where we help you to be a better, healthier you. I'm Dr. Rieta van Rensburg, and today's topic is Feeling Yourself by Eating Well Today to Create a Healthier Tomorrow. I am a mother of three, and as a parent, I have one rule that rules them all. The rule is, as parent, I do my best every day with the knowledge and experience I have right now. Tomorrow, I will have more and different experiences as well as knowledge, and I will do my best again. But for now, I do my best with what I have. But if I could change something in the way that I parented my kids, this would be it. If I could go back in time with the knowledge and experience I have now about the fuel that we should put in our bodies, I would do so immediately. And yes, I do change what I do when I have new knowledge. I remember clearly the palace revolution that I faced when I told my kids that there will not be any cereal in our home anymore. They begged me, please, mum, could we have chocolate cereals just once more? Just once, please. The same happened when I removed all sugary drinks from my home. My son angrily asked me why we are the only home without soft drinks in his social circle. It is common knowledge that you are what you eat. But far too many of us still do not make that crucial link between good health and diet. Take a moment today to truly think about what you are going to put in your body. Think of your body as an expensive car, like a Porsche or a Ferrari. If you owned, or lucky you, own an expensive car, would you put low-grade fuel in it? No, you would only give it premium fuel. The design and structure of your body is even more sophisticated and exclusive than that Porsche or Ferrari. So treat your incredible body with respect and only give it the very best. Focus not on the calories, but on quality of food. Power up your diet. Superfoods may have a little bit of hype, but are also some of the healthiest foods you should be eating every day. Foods brimming with various disease-fighting nutrients and delivered in a delicious form. Think about the antioxidant-packed blueberries. Not a single food, not even a superfood, can offer all the nutrition, health benefits, and energy we need to nourish ourselves. The 2015 to 2020 US Dietary Guidelines recommend healthy eating patterns, combining healthy choices from across all food groups while paying attention to calorie limits. However, there are a few foods that can be singled out for special recognition. These superfoods offer some very important nutrients that can power pack your meals and snacks and further enhance a healthy eating pattern. Here are five superfoods that should be included in your diet. Berries. All berries are great sources of fiber and they are high in antioxidants and disease fighting nutrients. Two. Olive oil. Olive oil is a good source of vitamin E, polyphenols, and monounsaturated fatty acids, all which help to reduce the risk of heart disease. 3. Fish. Fish can be a good source of protein and omega-3 fatty acids, which help to prevent heart disease. 4. Broccoli. This green powerhouse packs vitamin A, C, and K which helps with bone health as well as folate. Five, nuts. What can't nuts do? They are packed with healthy polyunsaturated fats and magnesium, two important nutrients for heart health. These nutrients may also offer protection against insulin resistance, which can lead to diabetes. While we are constantly bombarded with advice on what to eat, we do not know how to eat. It turns out that this too can have a big impact on your waistline and well-being. As busy people, we live our lives fast. But when it comes to eating, fast isn't better. It takes time for our brain to register that your stomach is full. So if you eat fast, by the time that you realize that your stomach is full, you would already have overeaten. If you constantly overeat, this will lead to poor digestion, fatigue and weight gain. The solution is to slow down when you eat and stop eating before you feel totally full. 
My grandmother was a very wise lady. When I complained that my skeleton was camouflaged a little bit too much and that I've gained weight, she would say that she knows exactly that why that was happening. Today we will call her advice mindful eating. But according to her, I did not pray before I eat and were not grateful for what I put into my mouth. How true. How many times are you and I grateful for the snacks that we eat mindlessly? In a world where some people still go hungry, it makes sense for the lucky ones who have enough to eat to show gratitude. The ritual of, the ritual of giving thanks or saying grace before a meal is one of the oldest in the world. With the knowledge I have today, my advice to my children and you regarding refueling our bodies to live a healthy, energized, energized life is don't drink your energy, drink water. Eat healthy, clean fuel for your body in a nutshell. Eat less sugar and keep in mind that starches are made from polysaccharides where poly means many and saccharides is sugar. Eat your protein and vegetables that grow above ground. And remember, grains are not veggies. Be fully aware in those sacred moments before you eat that food is fuel. If you fill up on poor quality fuel, you won't run efficiently. What you eat today determines how you feel tomorrow. We at Zenzili Life support you in making a solemn pro promise to yourself to choose your food wisely and to be sure today to give mindfully thanks for whatever fuel you put in your body, either out loud or silently with your thoughts and heart.